we have been doing word of the Lord types of conferences, but never really here at the head of the year. You almost always do one at the beginning of the Hebraic year and the yeah. beginning of the Roman calendar year as well. Why is it important for people to listen to the word of the Lord? Like, for example, at the beginning of a year or the beginning of a season? Well, first of all, you want to get on God's calendar, which he built the whole word of God around uh, Rosh Kadesh and around the feast time. And that's how the Bible is written. So revelation is moving. See, the word of the Lord uh, uh, in uh, Psalms 19 says he is constantly speaking and he has lines around the earth. He's uttering speech day and night. So when we're in his time, all of a sudden we're getting revelation. And then we have to understand the timing of the culture we're part of. Uh, because, you know, the word of the Lord that we receive is going to, to then go out into the atmospheres where we have our sphere of authority and so that's why it becomes so important to hear as god is speaking and move in his time but then to impart it starting in our culture which always uh, begins in january so this is a perfect timing for you to hear what god is saying you know, I, I love uh, how you always bring us into the biblical timeline and the biblical understanding of God's seasons, because I think that uh, for the most part, a lot of Christians don't fully understand the significance of that. Right. And um, I think that you've been really one of the ones on the forefront really teaching us about the Hebraic year. Um, this is the Hebraic year 5782, if I'm correct. Um, and um, um, what are just a couple of nuggets that you'll be talking about? I don't want you to give away the whole thing, but what do you, what are some things that we need to like grab a hold of here at the, at the beginning of this year so that it gives us the ability to move in victory throughout this next season? Well, well Jane two is always about surrounding. It's about uh, the framework you're part of. And so what you want to do, all of you out there is to learn how to frame what you're a part of by faith. See, that's what mm. the Lord did. He framed the world through faith. And uh, really, that's what this year is about that we're in, is framing our boundaries by faith and then interjecting into those boundaries the building plan from heaven of how God's going to build what needs to be built this season. And you have to always look at it from uh, being in an era. Now, all you got to do is go back and look how this era started in 2020 with this pandemic. And notice what the Lord did. He pulled us all aside at Passover and he said, wait, I'm going to have you all cross over together into yeah. a new season. And every Passover becomes very important. And so without getting the revelation of how to keep pressing us toward Passover this year, we won't have that understanding of how to cross into the fullness of this year. Now, I want to talk uh, really when uh, we do this next week, I think there's two words that are very key. Building, which means you are adding sons and daughters to, and you're setting up a framework. And uh, then you've got the word access. This year, we've got to know that the Lord is giving us supernatural access into certain things that he has longed us to enter into. So think of what you're building and then think about the door you're going through. So that becomes really important. And you mentioned this, Akar. See, uh, now that we're approaching y'all's gathering here, we are actually approaching Issachar. Uh, the month of Issachar. So that becomes important that we are understanding time. We're moving with a fruitful mindset into this particular year where war intensifies. So how we build secures us for the war ahead. Wow. Wow. That right there is a mouthful. <laughs> That's probably a lot to digest. Even while you're watching this at home, you might want to take time to go back and listen to some of those statements that Chuck just made um, kind of over and over again, start meditating on them so that 
uh, when he brings the word this next week, uh, we can be kind of more ready and more positioned to align ourselves with what the Lord is doing. Yeah. It's interesting that you talked about access because at the beginning of this year, Chuck, I had a vision where I saw Jesus walk up to me and hand me a, a key ring yeah. with three keys, a gold, a, a silver, and a bronze key. And he said, go use these keys to unlock the more. And I know that this year is about access and really God is. unlocking things that have been locked up in previous seasons and giving us access to things that have been inaccessible to us uh, over this last season of time. And so um, talk a little bit about how the word of the Lord actually gives us that ability to come into that place where we're unlocking things. Jesus said, I've given you the keys of the kingdom. How does the word of the Lord actually position us to unlock things in our personal lives? Now, think about what Jane just said there in Matthew 16, uh, when Peter trips through and got a revelation of who uh, Messiah was, the Meshach was, the anointed one. And uh, he did that at uh, Caesarea Philippi, one of the most evil, dark areas of the entire region. That's where they uh, worshipped Pan, actually. And just think about that as we have been in this pandemic season. And what the Lord said to him once he said, you're the one we've been looking for. Uh, he said, uh, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Well, there's this year. Yeah, See, we've been, we're not in a church season right now. We're in a kingdom season. And then he says, and I'm going to give you keys to unlock the kingdom. So we're in this process of unlocking building plans. Revelation, I'm going to build my church through revelation revelation uncovers and see that's what makes the word revelation so different from the uh, occult world it's uncovering where occult is covering over and remember when the enemy fell he covered over so we are going into a season of uncovering like never before and wow. to do that we have to unlock kingdom principles that have never been unlocked now i have one more thing else to say the kingdom is within you i see us getting unlocked in a new way now i really believe that is the key of importation as we go into next week how are we going to get what's in you unlocked come on you know that's that's what the lord said to me after he said go unlock the more is he said i want to unlock more in you so that I can unlock more for you and then unlock more through you. And so I believe that really is the season that we are living in right now is that wow. it, it's starting internally with the things that God is unlocking inside of us, ripping off our limitations, lip lifting off our, our constrictions so that he can actually um, bring us into that season of open doors, bring us into that season of access, as you said, and everything changes. And Jane, think about it. Think how we've locked the gifts up in the body. I mean, religion has locked us up so much, so we've got to come in and unlock doors of religion. The Lord showed it to me this way one time. He showed me 10 doors in my heart, and he said, you're not going to be able to run and unlock. And I saw him on the, on the uh, back portion of the last door. He said, you're not going to be able to run, uh, run unlock and get to me the way you need to until you go door by door by door and then all of a sudden you're going to burst through into a new realm of glory wow wow well i mean that is an amazing uh layout for what's ahead during this next week uh chuck uh, if, if you don't mind would you mind just praying for the people Absolutely. and just releasing an impartation um, I just believe that that it's really, we've got to understand that the prophetic is not just so much about receiving information. We've got to stop just treating it as information oh, no. and start really laying hold of it as an impartation that has the, ca the capacity to really bring us into transformation. So if you don't mind just praying and, and blessing the people. Now, Lord, I come right now and Holy Spirit, I ask you right now to stir us up, stir us up. I love how 
God uses Bishop to stir us up. Lord, I decree right now, you are stirring your spirit within us. Holy Spirit, we say, activate within us, stir up within us. And uh, fa Father, I pray one word into our stirred spirit. I pray now is new. Lord, I loose a new dynamic of movement in each one of us. And Father, as we cross over into next week, I decree that the new is just going to start unlocking in us. Father, I loose that over us right now as we move toward this week ahead to unlock what needs to be unlocked and gain access to what needs to be gained access.